Hey, hey Taurus, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your August 2024 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Taurus, welcome. I am hearing right away, take the class. So for some of you, if you're contemplating signing up for a workshop, a class, or an opportunity to learn, I'm hearing go for it. There is an energy here of learning something new, going in a new direction, uh, training additional skills, or if you're ready to put something that you've learned out there, I feel like the time is now. Now, bottom of the deck, we have the spiral. This can feel at times like we're going a little crazy. The world's gone crazy or finances feel like they're spiraling, but you're climbing the ladder. I really like this because even though it starts at the center, I feel like you are finding calm. You're finding calm amidst some sort of chaos. This is an upward trend. You may even be revisiting a job. There could be a promotion, networking, connections. That's showing up at the bottom of the deck. So it could be something that you don't quite see coming. But I do feel like it's spinning in your favor here with the spiral because the only way out of it, right, is to move forward. And we also have right direction showing up right away. So it's almost as if by an unknown force, right, your guides, your intuition are guiding you because we actually have the moon card at the bottom. It says being guided. We have unknown sources and we have the face card followed by the gold bar. So someone is getting recognized, getting noticed. This can be about putting yourself out there. This can also be about your hidden talents coming to the surface. I feel for a lot of you, you are connecting with the right people. This could be your clients. This can be connections in the corporate world that help you get from point A to, to Z in ways that feel a little less resistant than what you've gone through in the past because I feel like there was resistance here with the anchor and it's almost as if you've been trying to steer the ship but the anchor's been down, right? And it's very difficult. You don't realize why am I not going at the pace that I would like to be and it's almost as if you may not have even known that that anchor was down until you lift it up and you go a lot quicker. And I feel like that's why the moon card is here as well because some of you, this could have been fleeting funds. It could have been, you know, unknown sources were guiding you, helping lift that anchor along the way or give you signs anyway that there was some sort of resistance potentially holding you, holding you in a state of moving a little slower, okay? And because your first card out is the anchor card, I feel like you are removing that anchor here and removing any blockages. And that may be why Spirit's message was say yes, like now's the time. If you've put it on the back burner or if you've been wanting to, you know, go for that new opportunity, if you've been putting a lot of time and effort into, you know, a business idea or a creative idea, I do see accomplishment showing up. Some of you could even be self-employed. You may work from home. We have the light bulb here as well. So when the light bulb goes off, this is new ideas. And look at your first card out here is the Ace of Wands. So some of you are really showing up in a strong energy around creativity and ideas, inspiration. But what's been crossing your path is a little bit of anxiety and fears of what if it doesn't happen? What if I don't get the job? What if I don't make enough? What if I'm stuck, right? What if you stop ship and you realize 
that there's some big stuff that's hanging on to this anchor and it is causing a lot of fear because you may be focused on that anchor versus moving forward even though it's been slow and steady i feel some of you may have really been addressing what's been um what's been holding you back or you've been focusing on a challenge here so either two things coming up we are addressing the challenge and finding a solution with the light bulb and you're going to lift anchor and you're going to end this resistance or end this internal mental battle or mental war and you're going to take a new path. Um, I feel like that's basically what we see here is moving forward in a new direction. And you're no longer held back. Okay. But as you were going through some of the turmoil, it may have felt a little bit out of control at times. Some of you may have borrowed money is what I'm getting. Borrowed money to a family member or maybe you asked a family member for money. I just heard that. Uh, we have the patience card. We have the temperance. That's showing up here. I really think the temperance is such a powerful energy around one of our biggest lessons as souls having this human experience because we are so stuck on instant gratification. We want things now. We don't always want to stay consistent and work for, you know, long-term goals. You know, it's much easier to to binge watch a Netflix show after a long days of work than it is to focus an hour on that book or that memoir that you want to write. And I feel like a lot of you, you've dipped out of some sort of consistency. It's like you've got out of a routine, but you're reevaluating. I see that here with the seven of pentacles. You're reprioritizing, reevaluating and asking yourself, you know, where should I invest my time, my energies? What's going to pay off? Not just feeling good now, but long term. And even though it may even feel like a tad bit of a sacrifice, now, because yeah, of course you want to watch your favorite TV show or you'd rather maybe go out with friends or you'd rather choose to do something that stimulates you here in the present. But I feel for some of you, there is a new routine or something you're sticking with. I'm getting this energy of consistency. Staying consistent in your work is actually going to bring you uh, a lot of success, okay? I do see accomplishments coming from this and that may be that skills or that training that I was picking up on here for you as well. All right, let's get to your reading. Bottom of the deck, we have the emperor showing up. So this can be a strong energy of feeling empowered. It can be taking your seat uh, on your throne is kind of what I'm getting here. For some of you, you could be a business, you know, business owner or entrepreneur. For others of you, you could be connecting to or talking to an emperor. Uh, right below it, we have the messenger of fire. So there is action coming in towards, oh, look at that. We have empress energy too. So we have the empress and the emperor. So this is a divine connection here that really does grow. I feel like there's some sort of partnerships, collaborations, connections, new soul contracts here. So this is really quite, quite beautiful, but we'll take a look at your blocks as well. So we have the anchor. There are blockages or you have felt stuck in some way, shape or form. And I feel for a lot of you, this does have to do with your mind, your intellect, the mental process, right? Nine of swords can be about telling ourselves a, an old story of fears, anxieties, worries, right? It is that back and forth within the mind. I'm also getting vulnerability is scary for some of you. And the reason I say that is because we have the face card right next to the moon and nine of swords can be Fear of criticism, fear of judgment. Everybody's going to be looking at me. What are they going to think of me? What if I put this out there and they judge me? They don't like what I have to offer and I've done it for nothing. So there is some fear around a situation, but I feel like you are being guided, literally quite guided. Some of you, you may even have new guides showing up to help you 
with your abundance to help you embrace your gifts. I am getting something here about new spiritual helpers, okay? Uh, we have a couple of main guides that work with us throughout our whole lifetime, but we also have spiritual helpers, part of our soul tribe that come in at different times throughout our life to help us on our soul's journey. And I feel for some of you Taurians out there, you do have a new guide. So if you're starting to have some spiritual aha moments or if you're connecting to someone and you're like who am I connecting to it certainly could be a new guide for some of you I feel with this anchor some of you even could be feeling stable right you could be feeling stable for now you may even be traveling there could be some fears or obsessions or worries around you know can I get everything done in time or you know if you're getting ready to travel I feel like there could be a lot to get done uh, spirit is saying remain patient with yourself you will get everything done here you may even be moving you could be lifting up anchor and going elsewhere right I feel if something has become too heavy within your energy you may be saying this is just too much I need to reassess reprioritize move in a new direction it does remind me of the six of swords and we actually have the six of swords in your energy here in your yeah in your position so how you're feeling is some of you are ready to move towards calmer waters. You don't want to be stuck. You don't want to have money blockages. I mean, who does, right? But you're finding ways through your intellect to overcome this nine of swords because this is intellect. This is thoughts. This is the power of the mind. So instead of obsessing about things that are out of your control, you're saying, but what is in my control? What can I do about this? And what can I also trust that it's working out in my highest good and I'm trusting my intuition to take action step towards. And that may be also why I'm picking up on say yes to a class or say yes to some sort of new opportunity coming in. Because we also have the frame card showing up here for you, Taurus. This is about getting organized, okay? Getting organized. This can also be some sort of reward, award, training, certification, stamp of approval. Some of you may be getting awarded something and it's like you have the stamp of approval, you have the green light to go forward. This could be art and design. Some of you may be designing a new portfolio, a website, an online presence of some sort. You could be working from home, self-employed. I mean, the sky is the limit, of course, with the frame. So that's the exercise I want you to work on. Imagine this golden frame hanging in your workspace. What does it look like? What does it say? You know, what kind of training have you acquired? And I feel even if, even if it's not something that you go to a traditional school for, what are you learning? You know, put the... Put the energy towards this and I feel like you have what it takes to succeed in a very big way. I am getting long-term growth for you, but consistency is also very important. Now we have the light bulb. There's a lot of ideas around you, Taurus. A new income source available here. You're feeling inspired. And that's what we said with that Ace of Wands. The light bulb is basically Ace of Wands energy, inspiration, entrepreneurship, new job, creativity, intuition. So something stirring up here. This is new energy and it feels good because some of you have been feeling a little bit stagnant. You could be planning travel, planning to take a class. If it's not happening right in the month of August, I feel like you are pulling the trigger and there will be a start date. There will be some sort of significant energy around making a decision or making a choice. And I feel like it does require putting yourself out there in some way, shape, or form, okay? Because the face card is about not holding yourself back. It is about allowing yourself to be seen and to be heard. And if you have been putting yourself out there, this is the energy of exposure, fame, 
uh, money skills, investing. Someone could be investing into you, taking a chance and saying, we want to have you part of the team. We want to reconnect with you. If you've applied for a position in the past, this could be coming back around as well. All right. So what do we have here uh, in this deck? We do have right direction. I feel like a lot of you, this is money moves. Okay. Some of you are making some money moves here. You could be changing direction. Okay. That's, that's what I feel with the anchor. I mean, you may have thought you were wanting to go in one way, but once you pick up anchor, you see that that wind kind of carries you along with your guidance. It reminds me of the chariot. And I'm not seeing the chariot here, but I bet if we were to clarify, we'd see some shifts taking place, maybe even during cancer season, which is June 22nd to July 22nd. This may have been the catalyst for some big changes for you in the month of, uh, you know, July, June and July, but you're moving forward on a high note. You have deadlines. Ooh, okay. Some of you, yeah, you could be picking up anchor after a specific deadline. Maybe you worked for a company that was, you know, six month contract or 12 month contract. This could even be a project that you've set out to hit a certain deadline or an accomplishment. I also am getting the message here of sign up now, or perhaps, you know, if you are wanting to travel or have a class that you want to take. There could be a deadline for enrollment or if you want to get a deal on something. I feel like there is, you know, there is a deadline here. So just keep that in mind. You may want to put that in your phone because as you know, time creeps up on you quite quickly. And I feel like this is a really wonderful opportunity. Don't sit on it for too long. Performance evaluation. Some of you may be getting a performance eval. And you may be really looking into how does this make you feel, where you're at in your career at this time. Do you feel like you're in the red? Do you feel like you're happy, you're being productive, that you're making the, the amount of money that you want or that you're feeling that need to be of service or of help for, for others? Do you feel like you're being recompensed or there's reciprocity? Do you feel inspired? Do you feel like people are listening to you? Basically, where can you shift things or what can you do to get into that green energy, right? Instead of the stop, the, the red, how can you move forward into that green? So you may be doing a lot of reevaluating, reassessing at this time. I'm getting a lot of seven energy. And as I look on the board, I do see a few sevens out here and that's also the chariot. So that may be why that was coming through as well. So for those of you that are evaluating your, your skills or your work, or if that is happening to you, I actually feel like there will be some sort of success or celebration because that's what we have here showing up in the future. Now we also have approve. Ooh, this is interesting because this is that stamp of approval that I was seeing on your frame. And I didn't even see this card show up. So there is someone getting approved uh, to move towards maybe the second interview, the next interview. This could be a loan. This could be... A certification, an exam, a test, something that you are taking and you will be able to move on to the next level is what I'm getting here or the next tier or, you know, the next, yeah, the next level is what I'm getting. This allows you to move past go. It's like Monopoly, right? When you get past the boardwalks, I think that's what they are. The, the Is it the blues that you, you don't want to land on if you don't own them? But if you do, it's like jackpot. But I feel like you've been really working hard to build up your, you know, hotels and your houses. You've been really working hard uh, to move forward. And it's like now you're able to collect 200 and it's like you, you're getting a reset in some way, shape or form, but you still have your foundation set in place because they're showing me the Monopoly game. So I feel like you have your foundations and you're just 
you're adding to them. It's like you're starting to add property or you're starting to add, you know, investments. There's something really favorable here about this loan approved. Some of, some of you, this may have to do with real estate, Airbnb, uh, market research, stocks, accounts, things of that nature. Yeah, saving money. You may be seeing growth in your investments. This is beautiful. Who doesn't want to see that, right? Or if you haven't been in a place where you've been able to save here, Taurus, I feel like whatever this new opportunity is, it's going to help you pay off some sort of debt or help you get back into a favorable place financially. But we do have people looking into you. Okay, you have the background check. So I feel like people are definitely looking into what you are creating, what you have to offer, your resume, your maybe looking at your LinkedIn profile. I feel like you are very talented. You have a lot of experience. You've accomplished a lot, but it's not just what's on paper that is you know, important to these, these new people or this new opportunity, it's the energy. It's all about the energy. And of course, what's on paper is, you know, that's what people look for, but I'm getting that it's important to have that face-to-face -face or that Zoom meeting or whatever it may be. So maybe that's what you're striving for here because you want to be able to connect with the energy. And even though Sometimes we're not able to meet face to face. I mean, energy does shine through your resume, your paper, just like reading a book, right? So I feel like there will be something with uh, face to face interaction here, but I feel like it does start from maybe the paper, of course, or um, putting yourself out there in some way, shape or form through technology. And lastly, we have overtime. Some of you have been really working hard towards your goals and you are ready for a little bit of downtime, a little bit of a break, uh, maybe even a, a little bit of a getaway. Some of you, it's a spiritual retreat, okay? It's a spiritual retreat or uh, a time to reconnect with water or your, your elements. So this could be earth, Taurus. Now, starting off, you do have the ace of fire, ace of wands, beautiful energy. You see the passion, the orange sacral energy here around creativity and partnerships, communicating with others who maybe share a common dream, a common goal. This is inspiration through your your passions and what fires you up inside, what really pulls at you, what is that strong desire that you have deep within you. This is about you inventing yourself or reinventing yourself here or reinventing your brand, your business, your services, your goods. I feel like you are giving yourself a facelift in some way, shape or form when it comes to your career. It's like a career facelift and it feels powerful. It feels like you have a new sense of purpose here after feeling a little bit stuck or feeling the heaviness of a situation or maybe even health-wise, you haven't felt completely up to par because we do have the Nine of Swords crossing your path and Nine of Swords can be a lot of fears, fears of the unknown, fears that you're not going to have this new beginning or fears that whatever responsibilities have been weighing upon you that they've been too heavy and life has become too serious or too routine even. And that's why we have that Ace of Wands showing up as the main energy because you're putting an end to the fear or at least pushing through it to the point where whatever blockages, which this is part of the blockages, the fear, it can hold us in in a state of stagnancy, right? Fear can hold us in that driveway. If we let fear take the driver's seat, fear is never going to leave the driveway. Fear is going to say, I can't even go a mile. I'm going to get a flat tire. I'm going to have a detour. I'm going to get into an accident. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. But those are all illusions. They haven't happened or they, they may never happen, but it's the mind that concocts up these crazy wild reasons or excuses for us not to take that 
leap of faith for us not to, you know, take that direction and go move in a new direction here. And that's what you are saying to fear. You're saying, fear, get in the back seat. I understand that you're part of this human experience and great. You're, you, you're really good at times. You help me when I need you to stay, you know, when you need that safety, that energy of safety or, you know, it kind of warns you. But when it comes to taking moves in certain directions sometimes you just gotta let that intuition shine through and take a leap of faith and trust and I feel like that's what you're putting an end to is sitting in that driveway Taurus so there's something new coming in here and I feel really good about it because bottom of the deck here or excuse me bottom of your spread this is the foundation is the seven of wands Taurus you're a fighter you are a fighter you are someone who believes with great passion, right? You want to stand up for what you believe in. And even if that means other people may criticize or may disappoint you, and that's interesting because that does kind of intersect with the vulnerability piece that we were talking about. And some of you may be saying, Mel, I really don't care what other people say, but deep down there could be a little bit of a subconscious belief right? Deep down, we don't always see where that anchor is tethered to when we're on the ship. But I feel like you have this drive and the drive is going to surpass any of the fears. And that's what I see here with the seven of wands, because this is in your foundation, Taurus. This is what you're made of, right? You're made of star stuff. I feel like you have the fireflies around you. Seven of wands is living life on your terms, Having the upper hand in some way, shape, or form. The upper hand of fear basically is saying, I, I know that fear is present. I'm not going to let it control me. And this can even be going the distance, standing up for what you believe is important to you and not letting the pressure squeeze you so much where, again, it keeps you in a state of confinement or imprisonment because sometimes that happens we let that fear just kind of hold us tight and and we don't do anything we freeze we stall we we don't move and i feel like that's been part of maybe your life's work okay is to break out of that cycle is to not feel like you don't have a stance Okay, seven of wands is saying, I got this. I have what it takes. And even if it means I have to set a boundary, right? I have to set a boundary. I'm going to do what I need to do here. And so you have this strong energy. And sometimes we look at our faults or our flaws or our perfectionism or our people pleasing or whatever it may be. We look at our faults as just faults right? Or I don't want to say just faults, but we don't always look at sometimes those things can help us. So the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm getting some of you Taurians can be stubborn, right? No, that's not a trait of Taurus, right? But I feel like sometimes that stubbornness, that persistence, that dedication to really push through does you well. It really does do you well. And I'm not saying you know, be stubborn 24 seven, but there is this piece of you that says, I will not give up through, through the grit, through the, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. I feel like you've set healthy boundaries and your, your persistence and dedication actually can be one of your strengths here in a really big way. And being able to set boundaries, even if that means disappointing others, because you know, what's best for you. All right, in the recent past, we do have the Messenger of Water. This is actually the Knight of Cups. And there is an opportunity here for you to follow your heart and to open up to searching for, not, not searching, Spirit is saying it's not searching, it's opening up to receiving, thank you, Spirit, receiving guidance from your intuition and from your heart basically saying well what would love do or what would i love to do here and how can i listen because you can see the little seahorse here is looking right at her seahorses represent you know intuition listening understanding and she's looking at it eye to eye because it's right there it's no longer behind her it's no longer below her. It's right there face to face with her energy. So in the recent past, Taurus, 
you you got up close and personal with your intuition or with your heart's desires and you said okay I hear you I'm gonna make decisions I need to reassess my life that's why we have the seven of Pentacles showing up above you this is in the potential so this is coming in and you because you had that that push to follow the heart or to listen to the intuition here seven of Pentacles says all right Am I where I want to be? I mean, this can be assessing your returns, assessing where you are putting your energy and your commitments and saying, do I want to shift gears? Do I want to course correct? Is this still working for me? And if it is, how can you grow and expand on it? And if it's not, what new choices do you need to make to jump into some new timelines? So what do we have in the near future? patience this is temperance energy now some of you are saying no mel i want it here well that's that instant gratification but i'm telling you taurus there is progress progress leads to steady results here this consistency is what this is about it doesn't mean that your goal is so far out into the future you can't taste it now what this is representing right here right now is to stay consistent stay balanced this is blending of energies. It can be about self-control. That's what I'm getting here is self-control with the temperance. And you also have this Sagittarian energy around tempering your emotions, but at the same time, adding that splash of, splash of adventure and playfulness and thinking outside the box because that's what Sagittarian energy is. It reminds me of gypsy soul vibes. So even though something may be taking its sweet time, right? There's still so much growth within this. And I feel like spirit is saying, how can you add more fun to the mix? How can you showcase your creativity? And that's why you have that ace of wands here and the light bulb moment, because these ideas or this new income source or these new, you know, collaborations that you're coming into contact with are here to help you grow this over time. So you can hit that 10 of pentacles if you haven't already. So you can continue to be of service and expand upon not just your financial wealth, but because we have the Knight of Cups, your emotional wealth. But right now, it feels like you've been in some sort of choppy waters, right? It feels at times like that anchor, you know, has completely held you back or held you down. But if you look at the Six of Swords, it's actually up here in the clouds, so I feel like some of you, there's a message here. It's time to set anchor. If you've been up in the clouds with an idea, it's time to bring it down to earth. And that may be why you have the seven of pentacles saying, how do I do this? How do I take my ideas and run with them and move forward and see prog progression and see expansion and growth? So for some of you, this anchor is beneficial. And that may be what I was tapping into. Remember, we think of it sometimes as a, a weakness or as, you know, something we don't love. But actually, when we can embrace our weaknesses and our strengths, right, we, we can see it from a holistic point of view and it doesn't have to be so dual. I feel like you could be taking an idea and bringing it down to earth here. This is beautiful. Now, what's going on in your environment? It's time to make a choice. You have the seven of water. This is the seven of cups here. She's sitting in this beautiful seashell, lotus, flower energy, and she's looking up and she sees that there's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of different sea creatures here that she could choose. And look at the light. It's basically the same color. It just switched when we put that up there. But the seven of cups is saying, choose you know, what your energy is aligning with, you're going to know. Just like when we put that card up there, you see that it's, it aligned to that specific color. And that's what I see here for you is your energy is matching with something here. And you're going to be guided to make that decision. Instead of feeling wishy-washy or overwhelmed, there's a need to focus here and to take those daydreams, right? Take the 
the six of swords, bring it down to reality with the seven of pentacles by reassessing, reprioritizing, and maybe even communicating. There could be some new communication because in your hopes and fears is the page of cups. Page of Cups is news of something emotional. It's the beginning of, you know, whatever this idea is for you. It's curiosity. It's the student. It's opening up the heart to expand. This could be a new idea that you have. It could be a collaboration. Some of you want to go back to school. Some of you may be wanting to, you know, go for that raise or work with children. I'm also getting here, you may be a communicator or in the line of communication in some way, shape, or form. Maybe you're being called to express yourself through sharing your story, writing your story. Uh, it could be publications, something in the spotlight here because I am getting that, you know, that face card. So perhaps you are being guided to open up on a new platform of some, some sort, whatever you are guided to do, because this is your intuition. I feel like communication is key. Listening and listening to understand, first of all, connecting with your own intuition. But because this page of cups is showing up in the, the hopes and fears as well, this can be missing the signs, okay? Because it can be a fear. You may not be quite sure. Is this my intuition? Should I really go for that? Is that a crazy idea? Can I really make money? Remember, that's the fear talking. That's the fear talking. If you have a strong pull towards something, Taurus, you have to follow that pull or you're always going to be wondering. And if that's how you know it's your intuition as well, because I feel like this is something you've been you know, it guided to really move towards and maybe it's been showing up time and time and time again for you. Now, what's going on in your final outcome? I mean, beautiful energy. Four of wands. Look at all this fire. So we do have Leo season for the majority of August and Leo is also the sign of fire. So I feel like this Leo season potentially around, I'm getting seven and eight. So we have that eight, eight portal, but it could be the seventh, the 17th or the 27th could be significant for you as well. I'm getting uh, four of wands celebration. And this is 1111 energy here. So this can be manifestations, you know, screenshots of what you are working on. It's being brought to life. Okay, it's almost like a screenshot of your energy when you see 1111. Some of you could even be seeing 11s more often, maybe a license plate, phone numbers, it could be home addresses, uh, you may be seeing it on the clock. Uh, Four of Wands is also about special occasions, celebrating a big milestone here. This There even could be an award, a ceremony. This is communal achievement where others are honoring you. Uh, and I feel like, you're staying very humble. There's a lot of gratitude, a lot of blessings. I'm also seeing, Taurus, something here with um, balloons or a, a ribbon. You could be receiving some sort of accolade here or accomplishment. Yeah, there could even be a, an honoring, like someone honoring you. Maybe you did get a training here or you are going to be honored. There could even be a shout out on social media. This could even be a compliment or a Google review. This is something really good that confirms that you're on the right path, okay? This is celebratory energy. So you're gonna have reasons to celebrate and I feel like this is within the next four weeks. So this is really beautiful. But let's take a look and grab a timing card because since we do have temperance here showing up, I feel like some of you feel like something's taking forever, but let's just get a timing card for the temperance spirit. What's the timing? Why is the temperance showing up? Yeah, it's time to take a break, okay? Uh, it's okay to take breaks. I mean, it's part of what we need to refuel our bodies, right? To refuel and to gain that new perspective at times. Some of my best ideas come on, you know, vacations or while I'm out in nature or while I'm not focusing so much on, 
you know, the, the problem at hand, but just taking a step away from the problem is when we sometimes get the, the best ideas or solutions. So if you're able to travel, take a break, step back from a situation, I feel like that's going to be very beneficial to you. Let's get one more card here, please. All right. And this is it. Beautiful. Look at that. Faster than you think. So even though it sounds like a little bit of a conundrum, I don't want to say a conundrum, uh, it may feel counterintuitive to see the this temperance here and then, oh, it's happening faster, faster than we think. But I feel like the message is saying you're seeing results right here, right now. You're seeing and celebrating these milestones because this patience is about you taking these little steps now that are going to grow into big things over time. Just like habits, right? When we start to change our habits, even if it's a 10 minute or 15 minute habit daily, that amounts to big changes at the end of the year, big progress. And we don't always see it daily because, you know, we, we just don't. And then at the end of the year, when we add things up, tally things up, or if this is a health goal, you know, you start to see the results. I feel like that's kind of what's happening is you're, is things are taking place for you daily. But when it does come, you're going to say, wow, that's, that happened quicker than I thought, even though this whole time I thought that it was, you know, a long time coming. All right, let's get a message from the wisdom of the Oracle. I'm hearing Danny, Danny, maybe your name is Dan, Daniel, Danielle, take it as it resonates, Danny. All right. Some of you may even work with pets, pets or animals, okay? And as I say that, we have the leg up card showing up. So some of you, uh, maybe your vet assistants or you may have started an Instagram page for your pets, something like that, okay? We do have help showing up. We have a leg up, card 34, there's seven again. So we do have another seven showing up for you. Seven in, char in tarot is the chariot. And 34 is all about receiving help, delegating authority. It is about inner dependence. You've come to a point where maybe going it alone uh, is no longer optimal. And remember what we said earlier about your spiritual guide as well. If this isn't working with someone in the physical Taurus, you're definitely prepared to work with a new guide that's helping you at this time. Life has a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align you with who can give you a leg up during this next phase. You could also be the person who helps others. You could be the one that's giving others a leg up. Okay, so take it as it resonates. Help comes to you in all areas of your life where you need a boost. The trick is to accept that aid so freely given. When you embrace interdependence, allowing teamwork and independence to commingle, miracles happen. So we talked a little bit about stubbornness. So sometimes we can have, you know, that can be a good thing at, at times, right? We can be stubborn to push through and stay dedicated. But when that stubbornness shows up in the challenge position of, I don't need anybody's help. I can do it all myself. Then that can be detrimental. That can hurt us. So find that balance, Taurus, between your, again, strengths and weaknesses. Now is the perfect time to seek advice from a mentor or business advisor, or you could be this to others that still, you know, even the the healer still needs to be healed, right? Even the, the professional still needs professionals. We're never so far to the top where we think that we know everything, right? I mean, that's, that's egoic and uh, not healthy. It says, seek advice from a mentor or business advisor who has been where you want to go to help you get there too. And if you do this, you will receive very good counsel that will aid in your prosperity. It may also be the case that your endeavors have grown and you are in a position where you just can't do it all by yourself anymore. Time to bring on those who can give you a leg up. Time to call in the big dogs, Taurus. 
Trust that help is available and it will indeed appear. Delegate authority to others so you can take steps towards your big dream. The perfect people will arrive at the perfect time so long as you step forward with just a mustard seed of faith. A mustard seed of faith. I love that. Yeah, because you are... You know, you are moving forward, but I do want to read to you real quickly the protection message because we do sit in that fear and sometimes that fear can hold us back as mentioned. And it says, you know, if you're always insisting on doing everything yourself, or maybe you have little faith that help will come, or you're convinced that the, the world is a burden, right? And it's doomed to remain on your shoulders. If you have any beliefs around going it alone, okay, Taurus, that is that's something I want you to address at this time because that could be a blockage. And it says it doesn't serve you. Let others help you. It'll make you feel vulnerable. We talk about that. That's a fear, a big fear with that face card. And it's going to make you feel vulnerable to admit that you need a helping hand. But being vulnerable is our greatest strength. See the... the little conundrum that we have going on. Sometimes we think vulnerability is a weakness, but it's our greatest strength. And that's the message I was giving earlier, you know, about our weaknesses actually being our greatest strengths, but it's finding that balance and finding how we can use them to our advantage. You must let someone else assist you. You can't do life all by ourselves. Once we shift our expectations, we'll be amazed at how quickly help arrives. And that's the message here for you. All right. Let's get a few messages from your spirit animals. And at this time, Taurus, I just ask if you can, please close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in from your solar plexus chakra, your belly area. Nice big breath in. Hold it for as long as you can. And release with a nice big sigh. And with your eyes still closed, please tune into your third eye chakra. The area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. Perhaps your animals are wild, magical, mystical or even domesticated. This could be a pet that's crossed over the rainbow bridge. One that's recently crossed your path in the great outdoors. Or maybe even one that you have currently at your home. There is no right or wrong answer, Taurus. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you're ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do, Taurus, is drop your animals. If you had one or if you had more than one, drop them in the comment section below and make sure you hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss that notification on the first of each month where I drop the winners right here on the channel. All right, what are your animal messages? We have Turkey Spirit. Turkey Spirit says, give with gratitude and grace. Turkey. Now, some of you could be 61 years old, born on the 29th, the 9th. You may be 68 or 42, but we have blessings. We have gratitude showing up here. We have an energy of being and staying humble. Okay, I'm getting being humbled or having a humbling experience. Next, we have giraffe. It says, see the big picture. And uh, two and nine add up to 11. And I do feel here that there is an opportunity, 11, 11, that's that four of wands. There's an opportunity to see things from a higher point of view. You may have a higher vantage point here as well. Giraffes have that long neck. They're able to see beyond. And I feel like you have 
this vantage point. You really do. And it's going to help you move forward. It's going to help you remove some of these blockages. And also, for those of you that have been working hard, I mean, you have brown bear. This has been a message throughout your reading is take a time out. Take some rest, take some R&R, &R, book that retreat, spend some time with your family. You know, if you are in the, the Northern Hemisphere, you're enjoying summertime. I mean, that this is a, a time for that slow burn type of energy. And that's what I'm getting is you are, yes, you're going to pick up pace here, but there's a turning point, but it requires you to maybe enjoy this rest because things will speed up here for you. Now we have a home energy with wombat spirit here. So I feel like this is being at home within yourself. This may have to do with your stability, your security, your root chakra. I also see some of you could work from home, but it's important to get out of the house or switch things up a bit. And then last but not least, you have Otter. And Otter has been showing up a lot lately. Um, in all of the readings, I've been seeing Otters out in uh, you know the lakes where I'm at. So it says you are never alone. And that's what Spirit wants you to really know. Even if you feel like you are alone, because we have that leg up, you're never alone. So opening up the heart to receiving help, receiving guidance and intuitive hits and nudges is a big part of, you know, the next four to six weeks for you. All right, Taurus, last but not least, let's get a message here. Brand new deck. I was gifted by Angela Rose. Thank you, Angela. For those of you that are interested in any of the decks used, you can find all that information in the description box below the video. All right, we have masculine energy showing up here. And it says, when you show up consistently, I mean, has that been a theme so far as staying consistent with that temperance? When you show up consistently, you build confidence, create a plan of action. You don't need to have it all figured out, just the next step. Just the next step, because sometimes that can also hold us in that state of fear as we feel like we have to have step one, two, three, and four figured out because if we don't, what if we get to step one and we fall flat on our face? But what if you get there and you figure it out, you know, as you move forward? And I feel like that's where trust comes in. That's where you really embrace the energy of I'm not alone here, right? I'm not alone. Spirit is, you know, guiding me on this path. And there could be important people showing up in the physical as well that are helping you on your journey. An important mentor, healer, guide. It could be a family member. It could be, you know, a, a boss. I feel like there are important people coming in here for you. So show up, stay consistent, build that confidence and create the action plan to take the next step. That is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope that was helpful. It does look like, you know, a very powerful time for you to take that break, of course, step away from some, some big tr troubles, but I feel like you'll be able to revisit them with a new point of view, a new perspective, and you're going to take that next step and you're going to feel inspired is what I'm picking up on. Thank you so much, Taurus, for tuning in. If you like the messages, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, comment your power animals, subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't already. And thank you so very much for being here. Lots of love.